How's it going everybody, it's AJ, and recently I just purchased Battlefield 6 on PC and noticed that every time I ran the game that my CPU was at 100% and it was overheating. I was having a little bit of uh, heat issues going on with the CPU. For some reason it was just using too much CPU. And I did some research and noticed that a lot of other people were having the same issues and there was a potential fix that people have uh, figured out, which is creating a, a user config file uh, right here. I have it in the Battlefield 6 uh, folder, and you just create a, a note document, or you can find it online. People have posted like a version that you can just download and uh, adjust however you need. But if you go ahead and create this and open it up in Notepad, so if you go ahead in here into the user config file, uh, you will have something like this that has been posted online everywhere that you can use and it basically has a set of thread processor counts and everything tied to the CPU that you can adjust. One of the things I first noticed is that even when I placed this uh, type of file into the folder it was still overheating. There was no fix to it and I realized there was a difference between the uh, type of CPU you have. If you have AMD it seemed to work but if you did not have AMD a lot of Intel users were having the same issue and that was my case. And so what I ended up doing is going and f trying to figure out uh, what my CPU's core accounts were because the difference with uh, Intel uh, cores is that there's P cores and E cores and the P cores are what is utilized when you're gaming. E cores are not utilized when you're gaming. And so if you were to just go based off of the max cores on your CPU when you're inputting it into this thread, or in the, this config file, it actually was not registering correctly. And so I went with the what I had, which is a i7-13700K, and I noticed that it has 16 cores, which means I would have eight P cores and eight E cores. And so what I did is I just changed the processor count to eight for the first two options. And then the last option right here, this 24, is just the logical processor's number. I just left that as is, and once I put it at 8 uh, and 8, and then I ran the game again, I was getting about 50% usage on CPU, and everything was being ran by my GPU, which is what I would prefer, so that I'm not getting over heat messages and all that regarding the CPU. So just for Intel users, I would recommend definitely going into your CPU. You can just look at it through your task manager and just also looking up online how many P cores your exact Intel processor has, and then uh, whatever the uh, P core is, that's what you wanna put on this user config file, and then it should work. Uh, I did not have any issues after that. Um, for AMD users, it seems like it's the total cores, and so that's what the confusion was with regards to other videos when I was trying to follow it. It was all based off of AMD uh, CPUs, and. Intel is obviously different. So this is what I did and it turned out to work exactly as intended. So I just want to make a quick video here just to help you guys if you're having any issues regarding Battlefield 6 and the uh, overheating of CPUs and all that, especially if you're using an Intel processor. So like I said, you just want to go for the P cores and not the whole entire core count that your processor has. You just want to go based off the P cores and then it should utilize what is intended when it's gaming. So hope that helps. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, peace.